Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Brand Gun. This is a reason set, as you can see it is made in 170 second scale and it copies UK Tagmaster tractor which might be handy for an interesting diorama with your aircraft in 170 second scale. So we have a commercial sample here and it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and this package is pretty much standard for brand gun. You can notice here this 3D image and we also have kit number here and that's pretty much all here. We have also barcode but that's pretty much all about this packaging so we are going to open it and check what is supplied here. As you can notice it is sealed with this sticker here so I will have to use sharp knife in order to cut through and therefore I will have to do it off the camera just to avoid any unpleasant accident. So just give me a second. Okay. So we open it on the camera, I cut through this sticker and here you can see what we have inside. So all parts are packed into this one plastic bag and then we have assembly menu on the bottom but we will check it a bit later. We are going to start with these resin parts which are packed into this plastic bag. Okay, so what do we have here? First of all I would like to show you wheels. So here we have these wheels, let's zoom in as much as we can, we open the camera a bit, so now you should be able to see it, let's remove some dust from the table so that you won't see it, and here you can see these road wheels. So frankly speaking I'm not sure why, why we have several road wheels here, I guess the rear axle will have a double wheel set, you can notice that we have quite nice tires here and then on the opposite side we don't have anything so it will be interesting how it should be assembled but other than that casting quality seems to be fine so I don't have any issues with this next we go on with another set of wheels here so that's what I was talking about and here we have one more with something additional some additional part and we'll see in assembly manual how it will be used I guess these two pairs are external wheels and this one is internal type which will be used on the rear axle as I said before but we will see in assembly manual. Next we go on with really huge I would say set of minor elements so now you should be able to see and these parts will be a bit tricky to separate so be sure not to lose them because it will be really difficult to get them from the carpet monster we all know it's quite a tricky thing to do Next we have more parts for the interior details, so let's focus the camera and it doesn't want to focus, okay now you should be able to see it. So in some parts you might notice that we have these small holes, I would rather recommend to fill them in so that you will have a solid blocks of parts, otherwise it will be visible, it might be noticeable in 170 second scale, even though some good primer might hide it, but I'm not sure which one frankly speaking, so it's easier just to fill it in and be sure that you have everything alright. Okay, and next we have this I would say rear part so it's bigger than what we saw before as you can see it is casted as a single piece part and it looks quite nice I mean of course you will have to cut through these connection points on the casting block but other than that I don't see any possible issue as you can see there is not that much detailing on the bottom and other than that it looks quite nice let's not forget that this is a 170 second scale set so that's why there is not that much detailing and of course nobody needs any bottom detailing on the tag car. Here you can see the frontal section, note this grill which looks quite convincing in my opinion. Here you can see also this special dot for wheels installation and note how this part is casted. As you can see we have this slight angle, frankly speaking I'm not sure why it was done like this, maybe for easier casting, who knows. Here on the bottom we have again plain panel and that's pretty much all. Here you can see also again this nice grill, I just like how it looks. And here you can see this part from the opposite side. Obviously these recessed slots they will be used for installation of the separate parts. 
so be ready for that okay and next this is a brand gun kit so it would be strange not to see P parts included and they come in the small plastic bag with paper clip as you can see so I will have to cut through it with the bonder so just give me a second I'm using this tool just to avoid any unnecessary accidents as you remember and here we have a lot of things which will actually influence the final appearance of your model so let's focus the camera okay now you should be able to see so that's unpainted PE fret we have a lot of internal elements we even have the front part here so it will have to go on the front section as you remember and as far as you can see some parts will require bending careful bending because this is a 170 second scale and you can see in comparison with my fingertips these parts are really tiny so be careful in order not to lose any of these because there are no spare parts obviously and another plastic bag packs decals and small film again I'm going to use the bonder in order to open it so just give me a second okay so here we have various numbers for this vehicle and also small films so I'm going to put them on my palm because otherwise it will be tricky to get them into the view of the camera and maybe it will focus right now yeah you should be able to see that we have here several dials and also these numbers on the decal sheet printing quality looks fine and just to give you the idea about the size so here you can see decal sheet and here you can see this small film with dials okay so that's one part let's move everything to the side because now we will move on to the assembly manual and assembly manual is printed in black and white format so here we have it let's zoom out a bit now you should be able to see it okay we close the camera a bit so that it won't be that bright okay so on the first page we have parts map and as far as I can understand all the parts will be used and straight away we start with the PE part as you can see it will be applied on the front side as you remember it was this element okay next we go on with various interior detailings again a lot of PE parts employed so keep in mind that you might need sharp tweezers in order to get these parts into the right spot here we continue with some resin parts and PE parts applied on the sides and next we continue with more PE parts which will be bent here and there as you can see there are special schemes how you should bend these parts so keep track of this stuff because you might end up with uh, wrong position here we have the steering wheel if I am not wrong next we continue with wheels so as I say the rear wheel axle combines two wheels together while on the front we have one wheel and here you can see I guess that's the final view of the front side but then there is also some detailing for the rear as you can see we'll have to install this tow towing device on the rear and that's pretty much all and next here we have the marking guide so these are mainly symbols to apply here and there obviously tires should be painted in black and of course nobody stops you from finding some reference photos in order to copy something different it's up to you especially if you have some shots and as for this kit it should be already available you can get it on brand gun website of course if you would like to support us we have youtube membership which should be somewhere here there will be a join button and i will be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye